Born in Sao Paulo to a pioneering physician and a British nurse, Bertha Lutz grew up in an environment that encouraged intellectual growth and curiosity. Her father, Adolfo Lutz, was of Swiss origin, and he instilled in Bertha a love for science and discovery. Her mother, Amy Marie Gertrude Fowler, was a British nurse who taught her the importance of service. In her early years, Bertha followed in her father's footsteps, pursuing her love for science. She went on to study natural sciences, biology, and zoology at the prestigious University of Paris, Sorbonne, graduating in 1918. Upon her return in 1918, Lutz dedicated herself to the study of amphibians, particularly poison dart frogs and frogs of the Hillidae family. The following year, she secured a position at the Museo Nacional do Rio de Janeiro and later became a naturalist at the section of botany. Lutz's dedication to her field led to numerous scientific publications, including her notable works on the life history of the Brazilian frog, a unique frog chorus in Brazil, and new frog species from Itatia Mountain. In 1958, Lutz described a new species of frog, now known as Lutz's rapids frog, named in honor of her father. Her contributions to zoology didn't stop there. Her name is forever etched in the annals of zoology, with two species of Brazilian lizards, Liolemus lutzae and Philippesus lutzae, and three species of frogs, Dendropsophus bertha lutzae, Mega yellosia lutzae, and Sinax berthae, named in her honor. However, Bertha Lutz was not just a woman of science. She was also a passionate advocate for women's rights. She became a leading figure in both the Pan-American feminist movement and human rights movement. Her relentless efforts led to the achievement of women's suffrage in Brazil, marking a significant milestone in the country's history. In addition to her work within Brazil, Lutz made her mark on the international stage. She represented her country at the United Nations Conference on International Organization and had the honor of signing her name to the United Nations Charter. Sadly, in September of 2018, a terrible fire devastated the Museo Nacional in Rio de Janeiro, destroying many of Lutz's collections. Despite this loss, Bertha Lutz's legacy continues to inspire. Through her work in both zoology and women's rights, she showed that passion and dedication could break barriers and create significant change. In the end, the story of Bertha Lutz is one of a woman who seamlessly blended her love for science with her fight for equality. Her life serves as a testament to her indomitable spirit and her commitment to making a difference in the world.